Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the uh, 14th of November 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and uh, understand what's happening here with regards to uh, European markets going into Monday's trading session. Uh, your Asia, well, not Asian, the uh, US market certainly finished weak towards the end uh, of uh, Friday's trading session, even though uh, we did have the bond market out of the game. Okay, given the uh, potential holiday or Veterans Day, I think it was. Can't remember now, but basically that's the situation. Okay, so it's been a very turbulent week. Okay, we certainly have had the Trump uh, rally and sell-off really has uh, created uh, enormous generations, enormous generations, and, and the volatility really was insane. I mean, the FTSE 100 hitting a, a pivot low, NASDAQ hitting a pivot low, and then obviously retracing almost almost 75 to 100% of the actual rally with Dow, and Dow Transport's making new highs. So it's been very, very, uh, well, nothing short of, uh, of, of a miraculous recovery, and we'll see whether that lasts. Now, I'm reading something here at the moment, and I think it's very important. <clears throat> because it's it's very important to understand why the markets moved uh, due to the movements. Now, I have got uh, a report from uh, an individual, uh, Mr. Asana Asatanus Asana Wealth. According to my contact, some serious dollars were made on the election correction. But then everybody was killed trying to short the following rally, and that's certainly me. I had a negative week last week, so certainly stopped out multiple uh, trades, and given the volatility as well, uh, well, that's part of trading, folks. You you certainly have negative weeks along with positive weeks, and and really it's it's a lot more about learning than anything else. Okay, so what have we learned from last week? Uh, it's important to understand exactly what's occurring in this market now, uh, and this is a very good summation, by the way. Industry groups that rallied as Trump defeated Hillary Clinton lost ground, whilst those that were punished recovered. Okay, so this is going in towards the end of Friday's session. Okay. Construction firms and commodity producers were among the worst decliners after rallying Wednesday on optimism of higher infrastructure spending. So just to pause here, the the markets initially sold off on fear of uh, Miss, uh, Hill, Miss Clinton obviously losing this idiot, a moron, uh, really a volatile character, uh, rapist, bigot, call him what you want, okay? Um, basically, this uh, idiot or this moron has come into power and obviously the uncertainty that creates his, his trade, trade protectionism, concept of raising taxes and so on and so forth and obviously uh, even though the uh, republicans certainly controlled both the houses still the uncertainty was there and the fear was there as well uh, given the fact that he he is really a, uh, a liability now the markets obviously rallied regardless short squeeze high in the back of this uh, so-called infrastructure uh, spending so basically reliance upon fiscal stimulus hence the reason why the dollar started to firm Okay, given the fact that fiscal stimulus certainly will be the priority and therefore monetary policy will start to decline. Especially given the fact that Mr. Trump has uh, criticised the Fed and Ms. Yellen openly and said that he was go he would sack her. And also given the fact that his conciliatory remarks, he wasn't really coming out and attacking his opponents, etc. He was open to um, uh, negotiation and so on and so forth. And that certainly, uh, certainly calmed the market down to a large extent as well. Uh, drug makers also fell after surging in speculation on less regula re regulatory oversight. So again, with him coming to power, given the fact that he wants to cut taxes and cut big government, and therefore the pharmaceutical companies started to rally as well. Bond property sectors such as utilities and real estate firms rebounded from two days of losses. Okay, so certainly they bounced to a large extent given the fact that the dollar stopped, stopped moving higher. We're taking a breather and beginning to think about the wider repercussions of Trump's win. Okay, you can say this is pro growth and pro equity, which again it has been given the short squeeze that we've seen. But it depends hugely on the concrete type of measures he takes. We are moving away from the hope phase to the delivery phase, and I think that's very important. We're moving away from the hope phase, the hopium rally on the uh, attempting to front run this fiscal stimulus or this infrastructure spend that Mr. Trump is has has potentially talked about up to I think a, a trillion or two trillion. Okay, so again, individual, especially with the likes of copper, if I bring up the chart of copper, folks, again, copper certainly is telling you that is factored in all the bullish news. Now, if you look at the weekly chart of copper, you'll see the summation. You certainly had a topping tail on the weekly chart, and it's telling you that the cut potential topping copper is already in. So those of you that want to be the copper rally, it certainly is late. <clears throat> you are late to the party to a large extent, okay? Daily chart as well, look at that huge cut topping tail on Friday. Certainly does signal concern, signal pause, 
and uh, certainly signals caution not to certainly enter again <clears throat> okay until we see some further evidence of a uh, of strength okay so copper dr copper really has been uh, front running the infrastructure spending and this fiscal stimulus that everybody's talking about mr trump's been talking about etc etc and that's why equity markets rally to a large extent having said that though the FTSE 100 certainly has given back everything okay it's given back everything folks okay so we'll, go, we'll bring up the FTSE 100 you can see that we hit a pivot and i have 7900 uh, sorry, seven thousand, and then obviously the markets retraced that all the way right down to six seven hundred. As we retraced back to six seven hundred, so again, given the fact that we had a pivot low in cash hours around six seven hundred, uh, the FTSE one hundred certainly hasn't cared at all. Okay, so along with the Nasdaq as well, Nasdaq certainly flushed too. So certainly is interesting. Okay, it'll be interesting to see how the markets react on um, Monday, going in for the rest of the week. Now, for Friday, we didn't. We never really had any data that was really market moving. Okay, uh, the Monday session will certainly be more important. The Monday session, you have retail sales from China, industrial production again. So, uh, so that again will shed more light in China and Chinese firms and whether or not the yuan, no, whether or not the yuan can stay afloat. Okay, uh, then we have Japanese industrial production, CFS, CHF, producer prices. Again, always important to see what the inflation is like there. Okay, the Italian data not really that much uh, that important. You certainly have European data, industrial production, and Mr. Draghi speaking as well Monday. So again, that will be interesting to see if he can job on this euro higher or whether or not he can send this euro lower, and whether that's intentionally or in unintentionally. Okay, U.S. markets you really don't have anything at all other than the Fed lacquer speech and uh, FOMC member Williams speech. Again, certainly is going to be interesting to see what they have to say. And then we've got uh, New Zealand retail sales, which really will be quite massive in order to ascertain the next potential move in this market. If, you, if the uh, the retail sales are weak, then you are looking at the Aussie falling. And uh, given the uh, speculators, etc., it certainly will drive the, uh, the Kiwi uh, dollar even lower. Okay, right. That's the fundamentals. Let's look at the actual technicals now, folks. Let's just see exactly where we stand. So let's start with the uh, German DAX here. Okay, German DAX daily chart, double top, triple top, certainly rejecting the resistance above. So again, indicating uh, caution. The 60 minute chart, we may not made a higher high, nor have we tested the previous high. It's actually been a lower high so far. Okay, so again, you would have to argue on the side of the bears in this one. Okay, that's all I can say. You would have to argue on the side of the bears, especially given the fact that we have uh, weaker economic data, unless. Again, the data on Monday certainly comes out much stronger, and that will be interesting to see how we react. Okay, next uh, potential uh, indices we have is the French CAC. Okay, so let's bring up the French CAC now. Okay, here we go. So the French CAC. Okay, so the French CAC on the daily chart, you clearly see we've uh, rejected resistance at 4600. Currently sitting at around the 4490 level, so the daily chart certainly is much more weaker. 60 minute chart again, more weaker, actually retraced quite substantially now, and certainly has uh, given its value to a large extent. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get a thrust down to 4445. That will be interesting if 4445 were to go, then you are looking at uh, support equals resistance here, okay, which is around the fourth. <sighs> 4410 region, okay. So 4410, that's going to be interesting. 4410 all the way down, okay. Uh, you got 4410, you got 4440. So again, those two zones are very, very important in terms of the uh, the French CAC. Let's go to the 10 minute chart now. Okay, so here we go. So we've got the 10 minute chart, okay, let's go to the daily, we've seen the daily, let's go to the 60 minute chart, French CAC, you certainly have a retracement, impressive, the 10 minute chart, and you certainly seem to be potentially making a base at this uh, 4480 zone, if that cracks then you have 4450 and then obviously you're bringing into 4400 as well, so it'll be interesting to see how the the French CAC certainly uh, uh, trades for Monday's trading session, now the FTSE I'm expecting, okay, Right, so FTSE 100, okay, where are we on now, FTSE 100, sorry, apologies, I was looking at a different chart there, so FTSE 100, looking at the uh, support at uh, 6700, 6695, uh, the 60 minute chart, you're looking at support at uh, 6, 
6695, 6680, okay, so 6695, 6680. If you start to push higher, then you are looking at support of a resistance at 6800, and then the 200 MA certainly comes involved as well. 10 minute chart on the foot, see, you certainly have this bearish channel, but no real base is being made as of yet as we speak. You do have potential double bottom support around the 6725. If that cracks, then you are looking at. Uh, uh, gap fill again at 6695 so again there they are your levels folks okay so i wish you the best for monday's trading session be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus goodbye now